In Commitment 2022, North Carolina voters can now cast ballots in person for the May 17th primary elections. It continues for the next 17 days. Party nominations for the U.S. Senate, the House, the legislature, judicial positions and county offices all at stake. Bill O'Neill joins us as we continue our Commitment 2022 coverage. Early voters can cast their ballots without an ID and don't even have to be registered to vote. North Carolina allows for same day voter registration during early voting. I love early voting. It is a lot of work for 17 straight days. Election officials say early voting makes the process of tabulating ballots easier and more secure. You're literally doing an election for 17 straight days. The nice thing about early voting is I can correct any problem in 17 days. I can't correct it all on election days. In 2020, two thirds of North Carolina voters cast their ballots early. The top race in this primary is for the U.S. Senate. Democrats have 11 candidates on the ballot with Sherry Beasley, the presumptive nominee. Republicans have 14 candidates on the ballot. Ted Budd, Pat McCrory, and Mark Walker considered the front runners. Independent voters can choose either the Republican or Democratic ballot in the primary. Despite baseless claims from former President Donald Trump that the 2020 election was stolen, North Carolina officials such as Forsyth County Director Tim Succi says that one way his office helps to ensure fair elections is by hiring bipartisan poll workers. That in itself adds a layer of transparency to the elections process and as well offers safeguards um, out at the polling places to the voting process. Early voting continues through May 14th. Some counties offer Saturday and Sunday voting. To find a schedule and voting locations in your county, visit your local elections board or the State Board of Elections website. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.